Let's go live to Rockhampton. Joining me is the Assistant Education Minister and Minister for Regional Development, Anthony Chisholm. Thanks for your time. Some, a near miss for one town. Dozens of homes lost already in fires in Queensland. It's been a tough start to the bushfire season. It has, and it's still only 1 November as well, Kieran. It's uh, really remarkable what happened uh, yesterday in Mulungara, we're in the, uh, hearing the reports about that. So my thoughts are with that community, and I really do urge people to uh, follow the advice of authorities, but I also my thoughts are also with those uh, people impacted, but also those workers out there uh, that are doing such a remarkable job, and there's thousands of them across the state. Uh, I've been in Townsville, Bundaberg, and in Rockhampton, already this week and uh, so many of these communities are feeling the impacts already um, so we do know that it is going to be a really tough bushfire season this year. The uh, Minister for Emergency Management Murray Watt already announcing some government, federal government support so those that need it should look to those payments which are already flowing as the Minister announced earlier this week. Let's turn now to this uh, this issue that you've been focusing on today you and Jason Clare, a fresh funding round given to government schools and the opportunity for much needed uh, upgrades of infrastructure. It's something that will resonate, I think, with a lot of viewers right around the country as they go to schools and see the halls being run down. How widespread is this program? Yeah, so it's available across the whole country, Kieran, and we're working in conjunction with state governments to ensure that the funding gets to those schools that are most in need. Uh, so lower socioeconomic, uh, those with a high percentage of First Nations students as well. Uh, and what we know, and I've seen this for myself from my travels around the country, is uh, that there are a lot of ageing buildings within the school. This is an opportunity to modernise. But also what I've noticed that during COVID, uh, a lot of schools have started to utilise outdoor spaces for learning. Uh, and it's an ability for a school to get a grant of $250,000 to upgrade those sorts of facilities, new and improved, but all it is about is about enhancing the opportunity for children uh, and teachers uh, to get better outcomes. So uh, it's a really good opportunity yeah. and I'm sure it'll be welcomed by schools right across the country. COVID was a, a low point for, for so many people, but some initiatives and, and uh, gains in industries, and one of them, as you just touched on there, this trend of teaching more outdoors, it makes sense. It does, and, and particularly it's uh, hot and dry here in Rockhampton today. It's about 37. Uh, so I can imagine that uh, getting outdoors and in the shade uh, in a nice, cool environment. Uh, and we, what we also have learned is that students learn in different ways, and this is about catering to ensure we get the best possible outcome for students. So I know teachers are embracing it. I've seen students embracing it. And this will just be a little bit of additional money uh, that will help schools realise those ambitions to create better learning environments. I mentioned you are the Assistant Education Minister. Yesterday we spoke on the program about the program launched by the Prime Minister yesterday called Be That Teacher. If our viewers haven't caught up with some of the ads, I want to play one of them for you now. Have a look. Izzy has sacralogenesis, where the lower part of her spine didn't develop. Her friends were going off to cross-country and athletics and she couldn't be a part of that. I just remember saying, have you ever tried swimming? Before I knew it, I was screaming at the TV, watching her just blitz it through the pool in Tokyo at the Paralympics. She inspires so many around her. Oh, I'm going to need makeup now. <laughs> Anthony Chisholm, what sort of reaction has there been to the campaign? No doubt communities where these teachers come from, very proud to see them part of it. Absolutely, and I, I think that's about the 10th time I've heard that one, Karen, and I still get goosebumps from listening to it. It's really remarkable. And I, I was actually with the Prime Minister in Bundaberg before he uh, flew to join Jason to announce it, and he was really looking forward to it. And I know it's something that Minister Clare has been passionate about as well. And the stories that the teachers tell are phenomenal, and it gets me thinking back to uh, my days at school and how significant teachers were uh, in my life when I was in education as well. But there's a serious part to this, Kieran, and that's uh, we need more teachers in the system and this is about uh, lifting the view of the profession across the country but also it's about encouraging people to go into teaching and that doesn't have to necessarily be young people there's so many different pathways into teaching now and this is really hoping to encourage those people who are thinking about it to make that leap and go this is something i want to do and it'll be a great outcome for the country if we can get more teachers 
and particularly across rural and regional Australia as well. Yep, there's no more important job, is there? Anthony Chisholm, thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Thanks, Karen. Good to be with you.